Alright, let's do it. Let's go for career mode. Welcome to UFC Undisputed 3's career mode. With less emphasis on stat management, this year's career mode focuses on training games and more fights to get you back into the action quicker. Okay. The training games include huh. seven drills and seven sparring sessions. Look at this guy. The drills focus huh. mainly on raising your attributes. Flip those tires. Those sessions concentrate on honing your skills. In UFC 3, you can also take your favorite fighter from the roster, build up his attributes and skills, and relive or rewrite his career as he fit. And with the all-new Career Live Movies feature, you'll get the chance to go deep inside the UFC world and hear from some of today's biggest stars on the situations you yourself will encounter. Huh. Camps have been revamped this year, and you'll have the option of joining one of six real-world camps. Huh. Early on, you can try different camps, but ultimately, choosing your camp alignment for the remainder of your career. When doing so, you'll become a member of that camp. You'll gain access to the camp's logo. And we'll also what does that say? Camp, camp, camp sit on a dog? <laughs> Another feature which allows you to raise your camp sit on a dick. by competing in fights is the game plan feature. Pick a game plan, stick to it, and execute it during your fight uh -huh. to keep the effects of the game plan and enhance your fighter's ability. Hmm. Red, earned from your fights, will need to be put to good use this year as your training and camp sessions, as well as formulating game plans, will now cost you you pray. Training program upgrades, which increase your attributes. Oh, what the fuck? This is, shut up. Let me play. Jesus Christ. That's just what I want to watch, a five-minute intro video. Fuck you. Uh, all right, new career. Can I create a fighter or make a new roster? I'm just going to pick someone from the roster. I actually want to see the roster. There's supposed to be over 150 fighters or some shit. In the sport of mixed martial arts, the difference between a win or a loss can happen at any moment. A single punch, a single takedown, or even a single mistake is what separates the champions. A single turd popping into your trunks. When it's all over, a fighter's legacy is what's left behind. Now it's your turn to rewrite the legacy oh, of the shit. UFC fighter. That was crazy. In your hands, let's find out. If you'll lead them into obscurity or into octagon glory. Ooh. All right, where's the roster? Let me see. Career live movie unlocked. Woohoo! How exciting! Welcome to UFC Undisputed. It's Mike Goldberg. Career. I'm Mike <laughs> Goldberg, and I'll be here to help guide you during your career. With roster career mode, you'll have the chance to take your favorite UFC fighter through a career and recreate or rewrite it as you see fit. Let's get started by selecting a weight division and fighter. Hmm. So I want heavyweight, maybe light heavyweight. I probably want light heavyweight or middleweight. Heavyweight's probably too much. Let's take a look at the light heavyweights. Rashad Evans, Rampage Jackson, Shogun, Leota Machita, Tito Ortiz. We should pick Tito Ortiz and be douchebags about every fight. Rich Franklin, Matt Hamill. I recognize a lot of these names from back when I, I actually at one point was following UFC. Then I just fell off. I was like, I can't watch. It's too much. Too much shit going on. All right, you know what? Let's do Forrest, maybe Forrest Griffin. From the first, uh, the first season of Ultimate Fighter. Why not? Forrest Griffin. Now that you've selected your <clears throat> fighter, it's time to decide what their background or base technique is. Selecting a base will dictate what your starting stats and moveset are, and while you will be able to complement it by training with camps during your career, hmm. you will not be able to change it, so make sure you're happy with your selection. After you've selected your base, you'll then need to select your stance and power hand. Once these are set, we'll jump into some training exercises to see how well you handle yourself inside the octagon. Okay. Well, MMA is probably the most well-rounded. I'm just going to do that. I say orthodox stance. Let's make him a righty. <clears throat> 
All right, now we're gonna go training camp, and training exercises. Yep. Martial artist has to start with the basics. Look at that dick tattoo on his chest. What an asshole. Knowing how to throw a punch. Dumbass Brock Lesnar listening to Sable. She probably told him that's a good looking tattoo. Together, if you want to compete against the best, you need cardio, footwork. <laughs> you need to be able to dodge baseball bats, apparently. <laughs> and the ability to defend against every single one of them. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit, Chuck Liddell. Okay, so we're gonna do training. Some training exercises Every here. Every starts on the beat. All right, let's do the stand-up tutorial. Wait a minute, I already did these, I thought. Didn't I do the tutorials? Fuck this, do skill test. Let's go right to the skill tests. I just did the fucking giant tutorial. I don't need to do it again in this mode. Dun, 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 dun. Forrest Griffin. Remember when he fought uh, Tito Ortiz? That was a good fight. I think yeah, that I think that happened. <laughs> Maybe I was sleeping. Technique strikes. <clears throat> Punch his face! Beat the shit out of him. There you go. Well, that was exciting. Now that you've come. Clinch. Let's do the skill test. I just gotta clinch up and start walking around with him and punching him. Uh, oof! Excuse me. <laughs> nice eruption of a burp. <laughs> Alright, let's clinch this motherfucker. Keep beating this back, look. Oh, 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 we're going this way. Oh. Oh, 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 knee strike, 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 get him up against the ball, Ah, oh. Pitch him again, yeah, rape him on the cage. Alright, let me get up, clinch again, that wasn't a clinch, <laughs> Punch him again. He's slow, he's butt fucking him. Alright, so I'm moving around different positions in the clinch. I'm stuck. There we go. All right, get up. You gotta keep clinching him. Boom, all right, almost got it. Gotta clinch him again. Clinch him. There we go. I keep moving back and forth in these positions and it's giving me the, the ball. It's filling up my meter, so. Bam! Get up. One more clinch should be enough. Boom! 
Just moving around in the clinch is how you beat that one, huh? All right. The last section we'll cover before we move on is the ground game. All right. Whether you want to submit your opponent or avoid being submitted, you'll need to know what to do when the fight hits the ground. Take a moment to play through the tutorial and learn the basics for the ground game. When you're ready, you can proceed on to the ground skill test. All right. Just like the other tests, you'll be required to perform ground grappling actions, such as ground striking, ground transitioning, yep. and submissions. Submissions, you know how to do all those. The all more right. successful you are at performing these actions, the higher the grade score you obtain, and the higher the stat boost you'll receive for the stats are displayed in the window above. Uh -huh. Give it a shot. Let's see what you know. Okay, what did I get for these? I got grade four on both of those. Nice. That's good. All right, so we're gonna have ground strike defense, ground grapple top defense, gra ground grapple bottom offense and defense. Okay, cool. 